What up guys, it's Friday the 13th, that means it's the day that everything goes wrong in. Uh, that's a thing we say all over the world and yet something went terribly right here on Friday the 13th, 2018. My name is Radiant Sila and today I'll be dropping to get into the green spoilers for Tournament of Power. I've been really excited to get a look at these and hopefully you guys will enjoy my views and such. I'll give some strategic input into how I think they'll work together with each other and also how I think they'll work together with the cards that are currently uh, being released in Cross Worlds in the expansions, etc. So the first card is the uh, Leader Son Goku. Um, he is a warrior of uh, Universe 7. And he has the permanent effect that you cannot include non-Universe 7 cards in your deck. So uh, when this card attacks a leader card, auto, draw one card, and this card gains 5,000 power for the duration of the turn. And when your life is 4 or lower, choose two of your energy switch to active and flip this card over. Okay, so looking straightly at the front here, this is a card that draws power, gains power, draws card, ga gains power on its front. Okay, you can only play Universe 7. So what? You... <laughs> wow! It draws and gains power. It's a 15,000 beater! Wow! Okay, so it gets energy back, which I also personally like, as you'll know if you watch my part of the cut of the view. Okay, let's see the front. It keeps the Warrior of Universe 7 trait. Um, it is when this card attacks, draw one card, and it gains 5,000 power for the duration of the turn. Okay, it keeps the exact same effect and gets another. When this card is attacked, you may place two Universe 7 from your hand into your drop area. If you do so, negate that attack and this skill for the duration of the turn. Okay, so this is the meta and we all know it. Green Goku, it has attack, it has power, it has draw from the start and it can negate attacks. Okay, so we have no reason not to just conclude this as the best green leader. Uh, and I'll be playing it, I know uh, most of them would as well. He also has the Saiyan trait, which is quite interesting. So those new cards that combine with Saiyan powers will be useful with him. Uh, if they're Universe 7, of course. Wow, but he doesn't... Yeah, okay, I guess the deck construction of permanent effect isn't actually on the uh, backside, which means you won't technically have it when you awaken, but yeah, you still can include any in your deck. So the next card is Brienne de Chita. Uh, Chateau something? French? <laughs> Not that strong there. She has 10,000 power. She's a green leader as well with 10,000 power, yeah. She has the Alien and the Maiden Squadron and the Universe 2 tags. That's pretty interesting. I can already see a lot of combo plays with her. Uh, when he attacks a leader card, look it up to two cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to one Maiden Squadron from among them and add it to your hand. And place the remaining cards at the bottom of your deck in your any order. And she has Awaken when your life is 4 or less, she draws two cards and put this card over. So, effectively, she has a small search potential for the cards you actually want in your hand. I can see this being good if you want to pick up... Uh, now we haven't seen the rest yet. Um, but I can see this being good if you want to pick up specific pieces, like with the Android Cell combo, then her Unawakened skill sounds pretty good. And she draws cards, which is what most people prefer to do when Awakening. So, she seems pretty alright. So, the front side... She keeps the Alien Maiden Squadron Universe 2, and as you can probably tell, she looks really freaking furious. This is Ripriyan, Maiden of Anger. She has activate main once per turn. If Kakunsa and Rosie are in play in your battle area, choose one of your opponent's battle cards and KO it. Okay, so she gets a... Uh, her effect changes completely. She went from being a card that has uh, peace picking and a bit of speed and... Uh, some advantage building into just being all out shooting people. Um, and she also retains the when this card attacks draw one card that we know from uh, other leaders. Okay, so looking at this, I'm guessing the uh, Universe 2 cards will be a lot about combo pieces. So let's go ahead and take a look. Next spoiler card is Destructo Disc Krillin. Uh, it's a free call screen card with 5000 combo power. Uh, it has the Earthling and Universe 7 traits. Um, 15,000 power, that's pretty cool for free. Uh, it's a rare. Auto, when you play this card, if your leader card is Universe 7, choose one card in your life and add it to your hand. 
If you do so, choose any number of your opponent's battle cards for which the total cost add up to three or less and KO them. Whoa! Okay, so he's an evolution deck counter. This is the kind of guy you want to sideboard, or at least run maybe one or two off, um, just so that you can uh, KO a lot of your opponent's evolution cards, like uh, this Kind Saiyan Goku, the Broly Dawn of the Rampage package. Uh, knock out a lot of those. Yeah, he's he sounds pretty all right. He also has, as he says, choose one card in your life and add it to your hand. So he's a self awakener as well, which is also something that people like to do these days, I guess. I'm not playing any leaders at the moment that like that, but uh, so I'm not that psyched for that part. But yeah, I, I can see how this is really, really good, especially with the Goku that also draws. That would be really, really interesting. Okay, next card up is Energy Guard Android 17. Now, this is an Android and a Universe 7 that costs 3, 2 of which must be green, 15,000 power and 5,000 for zero combo. This is already a good card and we all know why, because the Android leader uh, really really likes 3 cost androids to become 2 cost androids and then they gain 25,000 power. So this is the 2, 20,000 drop in that deck, which is pretty good. It has blocker and at the end of your turn switch this card to exit mode. So yeah, this is exactly what Android decks have been waiting for. The only thing missing from this guy is Barrier. And really, we didn't... They didn't need that, it's already strong enough. So yeah, this would be great with the Android package. Uh, I can see it being really good, especially because of the blockers, so you can play a bit more controlly than you have the crits and the blockers. Maybe you won't have to play the twins quite as much. Uh, and they've been falling a bit out of my league, so yeah. I think uh, this is a nice rendition to... Uh, the androids. Then we have Infinite Energy Android 18. Let's have a look. She's again a free cost with 15,000 power again. Combo Energy 1 for 10,000. She has the Android and Universe 7. Okay, again, nice. Also, at the end of battle, after you combo with this card uh, from your hand only, okay. If your leader card is Universe 7, play this card in rest mode. Okay, so the thing is, I can see this being good specifically in the Goku leader deck that we took a look at, look at before. The thing is, sh ah, she says if your leader card is Universe Seven. Okay, you can also play her with the Red Vegeta that was spoiled last week, I guess. I'm hoping to see a really strong play with her in Androids, and I just can't because her ability requires. Uh, universe 7 so I would I would really like to see her in Android it's a bit a bit disappointed that Android 18 uh, rush combo as I like to call those pay one to play uh, combo cards that, that that one doesn't really fit in an Android deck because of its effects that's uh, I think that's kind of sad okay now we're going into the universe 2 uh, comments on comics we have girl warrior Brienne the Chateau um, she is a 2 cost one much be green uh, 10,000 power, 5,000 combo. She has the alien, alien Maiden Born Squadron and Universe 2 traits. Okay, that's pretty okay. Uh, she has Barrier. Again, that's that's already good. You have a 2 drop with Barrier and it's already worth it. Uh, when you play this card, look at up to 7 cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to 1 ma Maiden Squadron. <laughs> I was just about to say Mass Lian because the universe uh, among them. Add it to your hand, then shuffle your deck. Okay, so she picks up more pieces, and now I'm fairly sure that we're gonna see some combo pieces from this. this if both of the Briands are going to fetch towards co uh, combo pieces, the deck will require it. So she's another combo fetcher with barrier. That's really good, actually. No death by effects. That's this means that Kale won't have such a big impact on, on this deck, I believe. Okay, so we have the uh, next card is Maiden Squadron Kakunza. She has 20,000 power and is a 4 energy cost two of which must be green. 5,000 combo of zero. That's pretty good. She has the... Yeah, okay, I guess all of these will have Alien Maiden Squadron Universe 2, so let's just stop mentioning that from now on. So she has Critical. Oof, that's <laughs> my favorite effect, almost. Ah, that's good. Uh, permanent, if Reprian and Rosie are in play in your battle area, this card gains dual attack. Ugh. Wow, okay. So so let's just say that she can strike twice with critical at 20,000. That's uh, that's pretty nasty. That's cards not added to your opponent's hands. That's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of control, but she does cost four. So I... 
been looking at cards previously that have the cost of four, and these small quirky effects, they usually don't see much play because there are so many powerful four card horse cards in the game as we speak, but maybe we'll see something along the lines that will help boost her, and I'm cannily hoping for that. So we have the next card is Maiden Squadron Rosie, it has uh, 20,000 power, uh, zero cost combo energy to combo for five, and it costs four energy again. Okay, if I'll just say if they keep costing four and don't have a fix, this is going to be bad. Because you won't be able to play anything. It has blocker. At four, I'm not sure I want that. What else does it have? Uh, auto. At the end of your turn, if Rebrian and Kakunsa are playing your battle area, switch this card to active mode. Okay, so it basically comes with a small planet Vegeta built in if you control the two of the pieces. Thing is, if you drop something for four right now in the game, we're looking at cards like Kale and Jiren and Miraculous Gohan. I'm not sure a blocker that readies is good enough at four. Maybe at three, it has 20,000 power, so it can block a lot, but the Whis, Blue Whis blocker, Sacred Guard, has almost indestructible. It has a skill that's almost indestructible, right? And that doesn't see enough play outside of the Bureau deck. So. I'm not sure if this will be good. Uh, mainly when I drop four for something, I want to win. Like, yeah, I really want to win. Okay, so the next one is Sabuto, Maiden Attendant. Oh god, that mustache. So uh, he's a one cost, 5000 power with 04, 5000 again. When you play this card, look at three cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to one universe, two among them, and add it to your hand and shuffle your deck. Okay, so this doesn't actually have the Maiden Squadron trait, this is just an Alien Universe 2. And it's a one, look at top three. I know it searches Trade Universe 2, which would be, I guess, your entire deck if you were playing this. Which makes it sort of great, because the only thing you won't be able to take are the extra cards. But I'm not so sure this will be seen play, because it's only top three. Like, Kind Saiyan Goku and Pine Size Goku and all the other that check top, check top seven, so top five would have been... Clearly been okay, um, even if it checks only to trade. I'm sh top three might be a bit too slow. Yeah, I think so. But we'll we'll see. I could be wrong. Um, what? How is that pronounced? Uh, Raban Ra, <laughs> something like that. Uh, Raban Ra, maiden attendant. Another maiden attendant. Okay, so it's another two cost, five thousand power, uh, zero to combo for five. Alien Universe two again. Yeah, no main squadron. Okay, so it has blocker and permanent. If a universe two in play is in your battle area, you can play this card from your hand without paying its energy cost. Okay, so this definitely won't see play. It's a two cost blocker that doesn't have barrier and it, all it does is become free. Uh, and when you're playing the Rebrian leader, you can only search for, was it, it was Maiden Squadron, right? Let's have a look. When you're playing the Rebrian leader, you can search only, yeah, only Maiden Squadron. So that definitely won't see play. That's maybe in drafts, I suspect that would be a stronger card. Uh, simply because blockers that are free are good in draft. But I don't suspect we'll be seeing a lot of play in uh, in construction with this. So uh, then we have Teleporting Jimacy. Or Jimacy. Ah, that's the uh, Yadrat. <laughs> Instant transmission, guys. Okay, so it's a free cost, 15,000 power. Uh, Zero to combo for five. This is better play itself for free. It has instant transmission. So it is Alien Universe 2 again. Uh, permanent. Reduce the energy cost of Maiden Squadron in your hand by two. Oh, there it is. That's fantastic. You must pay the specified cost even if it exceeds the reduced energy cost. Okay, so all of those four drops just became two drops and became amazing. What else does it do? Activate main, place one card from your hand in the drop area, send this card to the warp and play it from the warp in its owner's battle area at the beginning of your next turn. What we have here is, <laughs> you have this guy on the field, you just disc a card uh, and, and don't care that you just lost it because it returns during the next turn to reduce the cost of two. This is your turn free play, right? So you do that and then the next turn you play both Rosie and uh, Kakunsa. And then, now the blocker is good, because now it's a 20,000 blocker, you just pay 2 for and not 4. That's good. We like that. So yeah, uh, let's all get 4 GMSA and start playing this deck, eh? <laughs> And this is actually pretty interesting, because this also makes 
Sabuto, the one that looked at top three to pick up aliens, uh, not aliens, universe twos, of course. It makes him sort of viable as well because uh, the Jimisei that reduces cost doesn't have the main squadron traits, so you want to use the other guy to bring him out as quickly as possible. Okay, going into Vikal, Master of the Sky, she's a two cores, 12,000 powered, uh, zero combo for zero power, okay? Alien Universe 2. Oh, it's the super combo! Ah, <laughs> this is, uh, this isn't half bad, guys. Uh, when you combo with this card, if your leader card is Universe 2 and you have five or less life, draw one card and this card gains 10,000 power. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is that you want to use the Alien Universe 2 to boost up the Maiden Squadron guys. So you want to bring out your Maiden Squadrons in one gym as a, maybe one of those that pick up the top three. And then you want to search for this guy or Jimisei, and that's about it. She looks pretty good for a super combo, you know, this 5 or less life, that's pretty great if you can build in an aggro. If you're playing for a more sustainable tactic, you won't really care that if it's 5 or 4, I guess. Unless uh, we get a Penta Strike at some point, then it won't really matter, but it's looking pretty good from a deck construction perspective. It leaves a lot more options, and it works for all Universe 2 leaders, so it's not a color-schemed uh, super combo, which is also pretty pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Right, next up is Sirloin, Maiden Attendant, with 20,000 power, and you pay one to combo for 10,000. So he costs four again, has Alien Universe 2, Double Strike, okay, so four 20,000 Double Strike, we're already in the clear for a decent card at least. Activate main once per turn, choose one card in your life and add it to your hand. Self awaken. If your leader card is universe 2, choose one of your opponent's battle cards and KO it. <laughs> wow, so this this is pretty funny because this is an almost direct copy of Furious Yell Vegeta and he never saw play. So why should this guy is what I'm thinking. But then I'm also thinking that unless you use the promos like the Increasing the Evil Mask Saiyan, you won't actually have much self awaken with Rebrian. So I'm thinking that maybe to self awaken he'll be good. And then I look at his forecast and I'm like, well, when you reach turn four, if you're not dead, then you're awakened. So no, I don't think this guy will see play, not at all. Uh, and they also had other removal, so yeah. Uh, okay, then we have Attacked Reflecting Prom. He's a green 2 cost, 15,000 power, 0 to 5,000 combo with Alien Universe 2 with Barrier. Okay, so this I wouldn't play this in the Universe 2, I think, but I would definitely play it in the Alien deck. So it's an Alien with 15,000 power for 2 energy that has Barrier. Let's just let that sink in. During the first set, we had to pay free for anything really, and this is just this is just really good actually. You can play this with the uh, smirking champ thingy on the board, and then you'll have a twenty thousand barrier. I kind of like it. It's it's okay. It's definitely not the worst two drop in the game. Then we have the uh, Hermila, the sniper. He is a three cost, fifteen thousand power, five thousand for zero to combo alien universe two. Activate main once per turn. If if is in play in your battle area, choose one card, one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost five or less and KO it. Okay, so we're missing a word here from the spoilers list. List um, if is in play. I'm guessing this would be like uh, if Maiden Squadron is in play because that's the universe. This is attended to, right? Wasn't they? Yeah, it's universe two. So yeah. So I would guess it says like with Brian or uh, Kakunsa. Maybe it's saying that that other guy, his uh, his helper. They were like two. Uh, what was his name? Was it Ganos or something? Yeah. So if you have that in play, you can KO stuff. Free for fifteen thousand is meh. But KOing something that's five or less is yes. That's good. That's really good. We need more of those controlly options in the game as now. So yeah. Uh, next card is True Form Ganos. This could be that, couldn't it? Uh, potentially, yeah. He's a 5 cost, uh, 20,000 power for combo 1 into 10,000. Okay, so with 5 and 20,000, his effect has to be good. 
I would really love to see that. He has evolved for for Ganos, uh, obviously since he's a Ganos character. He has double strike, and when a card evolves into this card, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and KO it. Nice. Then your opponent chooses one card in their head and places it in the drop area. Okay, so this is this is <laughs> I know it's universe two, but this is a Broly engine. You get to KO and discard from your opponent. Doesn't require universe two. It's green and has double strike. I would definitely run this with Broly, most definitely. Oh, and the smaller form is right here, uh, Trickster Ganos. He has uh, 15,000 power, it's a 3 cost, 0 for 5,000 combo. Alien Universe 4, oh, these aren't actually Universe 2 cards, they're green Universe 4 cards. That explains a lot. Wow, yeah, <laughs> didn't notice. When you play this card, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of 4 or less and KO it. This is good. 3 to KO or something that's 4 or less is insane. It's pay free to remove Kale, Kappa, um, Wow, that's uh Wow. This is this is a good free drop and it's uncommon. This is really good, especially with Broly. Wow. Okay, so another universe 4 here. It's called a uh, Kawaii Ka Key Master. Yeah, Key Master. Kai Master, Key Master. Okay. So, yeah, uh it's a free cost 15,000 power wonder combo into 10,000. At the end of your battle, after you combo with this card from your hand, if your leader card is green, play this card in rest mode. A rush combo that isn't Tian Shinhan for green. We needed that. We desperately needed that. So, thing is, Tian Shinhan uh, is probably in my top three worst cards in this game. And this card will just say goodbye, never a reason to play that again. So, it plays itself as a rush combo, not much to say. It has the alien trait. Which means if you can find a green alien leader, nah, I'm not sure there's a green leader for the alien deck at the moment. Might might show up, but then we could try to see some uh, green red crossplay with aliens. Okay, so we have the next one is a 10,000 vanilla card called the Cory. Uh, it costs one for 10,000 and an 0 for five combos. So that, I guess that's pretty okay. Uh, it's an alien universe four card. <gasps> Okay, let's see, we're going into the extras now, meaning that there are only a very few cards left. This is a Maiden Transformation. It costs 4, uh, activate main, choose up to 2 Maiden Squadron with energy cost 4 or less in your drop area and play them. It doesn't say combined cost 4 or less. You're paying 4 to get out 2. That's, that's good. If you don't, if you don't get that uh, Jimmy say the one that reduced cost, then you can just combo with Rosie and Kakunsa, and then you can play this to play them. That's that's not a loss. That's called advantage building. Wow, this this is great. Actually, this is really really great. <laughs> the next one, <laughs> the picture is kind of funny. So it's a one cost uh, green counter attack. Okay. Negate the attack. Then if your leader is universe 2, you may place one card from your hand in your drop area. If you do so, choose your opponent's... Your opponent chooses one of the battle cards and kills it. Okay, so it won't get a cross barrier, but it is a one cost negate that also removes the card from your opponent's board. And if played right, this can be a really good card. Let's just say that. If, if your opponent doesn't have barrier cards on the field, then it's going to be good. Then it's going to be really good. If he does, maybe not so much. I am, I'm actually pretty excited for these Maidens. I was afraid that they were going to be a bit too, like, uh, happy, runny, runny round. Not having, really having good effects. Uh, maybe just boosting each other's also off of names. But looking at these cards, they all seem really, really good. And that's something that, that I think we're going to enjoy. Like, the leaders, the leaders are getting better. And they won't maybe feel as much as dead draws if you're, like, with crosswells. I had, like, maybe two leaders I wanted to use in total. And when I drew one of the other, it was like, oh, waste of my pack money, right? Uh, because it's rare, but the leaders here, even the sharpened power Goku, uh, is an uncommon. So there's a good chance they're downing down leader rares 
uh, in order for them to not fill up such much space in the booster packs. And that, that seems like a really good move. Uh, that's something I could endorse on their side. Any okay, so let's have a look at the last card of the set. Uh, this wasn't spoiled until after the others arrived on the card list, so I recorded this a bit after. It is Maiden Squadron Leader Rebrian. It's the special rare uh, SR um, for green. It is a 5 cost, 20,000 power, 1 for 10,000 combo keys. Okay, so it's pretty good for 5 for 25,000. We're gonna see some good effects here. It has Evolve Free from Brienne de Chateau. Meaning that you can pay free to get a 25,000 power hitter. That's that's pretty strong already, guys. It also has barrier keyword, so it doesn't die to effects. That's right there. It's one of the better evolves. So it has auto when a card evolves into this card. Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and KO it. Wow. Yeah, it, no cost restrictions. Pay free to evolve. That's really good. And it's a Maiden Squadron, so the first Rebrian that looks at top 7 can pick this up and evolve into it. That's crazy! <laughs> wow! When this card attacks, if Kakunsa and Rosie are in play in your battle area, choose up to two cards from your opponent's hand and place them into drop. <laughs> this is such a good card! A free cost, barrier, 25,000, auto KO, auto attack, discard card. Wow, that is the ultimate finisher for the Maidens, and I simply, after looking at this, can't wait to try that dig out. Hey you, uh, that was my spoiler video. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of these things. Uh, make me know if I missed any of my reflections, or if there's something entirely that I left out. Uh, my name's been Radiant Sila, it's been my pleasure, and I will see you all next time.